Hi everyone! In today's TW Spotlight, we'll take a look at the best travel destinations in Southeast Asia for next year. We'll talk about the cheapest destinations, top search travel destinations, best countries to visit, and best countries for expats. My name is Angeline, and this is The Daily Watch. With the promising use of vaccines potentially being available before the end of the year, the travel world is experiencing a big surge in search and bookings for 2021. Although this is a positive development, we need to take note that if approved, it will take months for the vaccine to be distributed around the world. Just the same, it won't hurt to start researching for your next holiday destinations for when we can travel properly again. We've looked at several lists that identified the best countries to give you options for the best travel destinations in Southeast Asia for next year. But first, why are Southeast Asian countries the best of the best for post-pandemic travel? Home to some of the world's most captivating islands, cities, resorts, cultures, and cuisine, Southeast Asia remains a permanent feature in the top 10 of many travelers' bucket list. Of all the regions in the world that are familiar with dealing with the pandemic, Southeast Asia has both the experience and a track record of recovery. Compared to the U.S., who is leading in the number of COVID-19 deaths, in Europe, who has become the center of the pandemic, most Southeast Asian countries have the virus largely under control. This makes the usual top destinations in other regions not so attractive to travelers, especially from countries who have controlled it better. Which destinations in Southeast Asia should you add to your travel bucket list next year? Let's take a look at surveys and research done by various organizations. Cheapest Destinations German travel agency Der Tour has released an accommodation price index of 2020, which compiles the data from the calculations of the median price of a one-night stay in a three-, four-, or five-star hotel around the world after August 2020, when travel restrictions were mostly imposed. Thailand's Bangkok and Phuket appear at number four and five respectively on the top five cities with the largest accommodation price drop behind Amsterdam, San Francisco, and Vancouver. Top search travel destinations. Agoda.com has listed the top destinations for travel based on the most popular searches on their website. Their data shows distinctions between destinations searched by type of travelers, whether they are solo travelers, group travelers, or families. Thailand comes in number two after Taiwan overall in popularity for all travelers. For solo travelers, Thailand takes third spot, while for families, is the most searched destination. For group travelers, the country comes in third. Meanwhile, Vietnam comes in fourth place overall in popularity for all travelers. The country is second most popular for group travelers, while it comes second to Thailand for families. Malaysia comes in ninth in the overall top searches, while Indonesia comes in tenth. Best Countries to Visit The Readers of Condé Nast Traveler voted for the best countries to visit as part of the Reader's Choice Awards 2020. Each country is scored based on overall average levels of satisfaction. Malaysia comes in at number 15 with a score of 90.86. Vietnam comes in at number 9 with an overall score of 92.12. Thailand is at 7th place with a score of 92.62. Indonesia, which is the highest ranking Southeast Asian country in the list, is at number 6 with 92.98. Best Countries for Expats Although in the midst of a pandemic may not be the best time to move to a new country, we thought we'd throw in anyway Asia species best countries for expats based on their expat explorer survey sent to more than 22,000 expats worldwide. Vietnam makes it to the top 10 this year thanks to its strong financial security, positive work-life balance, and welcoming environment for newcomers. Most expats surveyed said they were able to quickly adjust to the way of life there, feeling at home within the first few months of arriving. Singapore comes in at second place. This city-state has always been one of the best countries for expats to live and work. It earns high marks when it comes to quality of schools and ranks first for both job security and wage growth. However, the big question is, 
Which of these countries are open for tourism right now? The good news, Thailand, which figures in all the aforementioned lists, is open for tourism. The government is fully open to tourists from all countries starting November 2020, but all travelers must apply for 60 days travel visa and undergo a 14 days quarantine after arrival. Indonesia allows foreign nationals holding a visa and or stay permit to enter the country through designated immigration border controls after undergoing health protocol procedures. The visa and or residence permit includes the following official visa, diplomatic visa, visitor visa, temporary stay visa, official stay permit, diplomatic stay permit, temporary stay permit and permanent stay permit. Foreign nationals requiring a visitor visa, a single entry visitor visa, must also obtain a visa approval. Visitor visas issued by the Director General of Immigration are for the following purposes. Emergency and essential work, a business meeting, purchase of goods, a probationary period for foreign workers, a medical food and humanitarian aid worker, and a crew member who joins the vessel in Indonesia. Singapore's borders are now reopening gradually to allow safe travel in limited numbers with the necessary safeguards in place to ensure public health considerations are addressed. Vietnam is still closed for tourism and is only offering entry to diplomats, experts, investors and their respective family members and Vietnamese returning home. All visitors must meet specific health regulations bring the required paperwork in order to be granted entry into Vietnam and complete a 14-day quarantine at their own cost upon arrival. Being one of the top 10 destinations for expats, you may still be able to find a job from overseas and be sponsored by your hiring company to enter the country. So there's still a chance for you to come. Meanwhile, the Malaysian government has extended the border closure until December 31st. Only medical tourists, certain business travelers, and foreign spouses are allowed entry. Visit the links we provided in the description box below for more detailed information on entry to each country in this list. Although there's been a shift toward domestic destinations as regulations are being eased for domestic travel, people are still dreaming about international travel adventures. As travel corridors start to open to some key markets where COVID has been more contained, now may be the best time to start planning your next holiday. Which country are you hoping to visit next year? Let us know in the comments section below. That's it for today. If you liked today's video or learned anything new, press the like button, subscribe and ring the bell to get the latest news from the Daily Watch. See you next time!